Think about a region of 600 square kilometers with 3 million inhabitants. Your mind will probably picture a dense metropolis with large urban areas and many economic activities. So this is the metropolitan area of Barcelona, the largest urban agglomeration of Western Mediterranean, which generates half of Catalonia's GDP. And yet, surprisingly, more than half of this area is formed by green spaces, the mountain ranges of Coiserola, Ordal, Garraf, and Marina, the Llobregat, and Bezos rivers and basins, many beaches and multiple water streams. In addition, there are many urban green spaces, such as squares and parks. These interlinked natural spaces and rich landscapes of great environmental relevance form the so-called green infrastructure. There can be found more than 50 diverse habitats, home to over 5,300 different species. The green infrastructure provides ecosystem services, that is, a series of goods and services related to health, well-being, welfare and culture, as well as locally produced food and other products. As a whole, it shapes an important environmental and social network, intended to become one of the backbones of the metropolis. Consolidating the green infrastructure so helped to develop a new model of metropolitan environmental sustainability aimed at achieving the right balance between socio-economic development and existing environmental assets. Therefore, it is necessary to join efforts at all levels. From establishing a global strategy for the territory to defining each particular element of the green infrastructure, the final stretch of the Llobregat River is a key element of the green infrastructure. It holds high biodiversity values, is crucial for ecological connectivity and plays an important role for social purposes. In fact, the Llobregat River itself contains half of the habitats of the metropolis. Thus, its delta is one of the most important sectors of the metropolitan area in terms of biodiversity. The Llobregat River and its tributaries are essential for ecological connectivity. As long as they connect the hinterland with the coastline and Ordal Mountains with Corsarola mountain range. Yet, this permeability is smaller than desired due to the numerous urbanized areas all around. It is worth to remind that, for decades, the river was a forgotten part of the territory. Luckily, today it has recovered its qualities for people's enjoyment and well-being. It is now connected to the other natural spaces such as metropolitan parks, mountain ranges and metropolitan beaches through a net of green paths and routes structuring the territory and the municipalities. Despite being intensely humanised, filled with communication infrastructures, industries and dense urban areas, the final stretch of the Obregat River, which runs across 16 municipalities, is a 30 kilometre long ecological infrastructure, vital for the provision of ecosystem services. Now, one of the biggest challenges is to integrate and apply the ecosystem services in actual processes of planning, management, assessment, decision making and environmental communication, among others. Co-governance is fundamental. All stakeholders should be included in public, private and social organisations should coordinate and engage for this common goal. It is important though to always consider the eventual climate scenarios. What future shall we expect from our territory? How will the increase of world temperature alter it? Which consequences will entail the decrease of water resources, the increase of flooding periods or the rising frequency of fires? How can we face the loss of biodiversity? The speed and intensity of the climate change impacts will determine to a large extent the way of managing our territory in order to respond to citizens' needs. The Barcelona metropolitan area is already working to face all these challenges and to boost the resilience of the metropolis. The green infrastructure will certainly help reduce risks and vulnerabilities as it is a tool to make the territory more versatile towards the forthcoming reality.